Let me tell you about the time Wisco and I got knocked off of a mountain by a hailstorm. It's easy to be mesmerized by how the clouds move through the mountains in Montana. I often watch and get lost in a daydream about being up there on the peaks, isolated. A unique experience of solitude. Seeing the power of the storms move over the Bridger mountain range, I wondered what it would feel like to be up there. I guess it was inevitable that one day I would find out. This particular day was a classic case of a late start mixed with a lack of information about the trail to create my own little mini epic. I don't remember how far I thought the trail was to the peak. I just remember that it was much further than that. Wisco and I watched and felt the winds come in through the Gallatin Canyon picking up moisture, as well as another wind coming in from Livingston Pass and the Great Catabatic. I turned around to see that the ridge line of Saddle Peak was funneling moisture in from both directions and throwing it straight up into the air. A mighty storm was building right on top of us. What goes up must come down. It was time to bail. That's when the thunder and lightning started. As Wisco and I began our descent, I saw that the storm was already getting ready to touch down over by the Yam about six miles away. That's right. not very far on a mountain. Lightning strikes are starting to get a little close. Wisco is bailing. So he's bailing. And I'm with him. And 
I'm only a little bit scared now. <laughs> it became a race to safety. Wisco kept leading the way. He wanted to bail the second he heard the thunder. As a dog, he doesn't rationalize staying in dangerous places like I do. We made it to the second camera, just as the hailstorm swept across the mountainside. We found cover, waiting for the initial brunt force of the weather to pass. Obviously, Wisco and I made it down safely, and I learned a lot of lessons from that day. I'm much more knowledgeable now in the ways to be prepared for photography in the mountains and during inclement weather. And still, I look at those storms over mountaintops and daydream about being up there on the ridgelines, feeling the barometer drop as the winds pick up, smelling the air that circles the globe for what can only be described as forever. If you'd like to support the channel, please subscribe and go to gettingnegative.com to purchase prints of photographs seen on this channel and more.